Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. I don't think you know how excited I am. The moth box arrived. Oh, I've been sitting by the door waiting for this for over a week. Oh. So this is how it comes. All beautiful and wonderful. The books in this box deal with family trauma, check, check, and isolation, check, in unique environments. <laughs> they are both gritty, unrelenting reads that offer you an insight into the ways in which cultures and belief can shape life. <sighs> For all their gravity, these books are not without hope and compassion. I'm so excited! <sighs> okay, I just... It's really interesting. I I love this for sure, but the little um, one from last month was adorable and it was just like a little tiny, almost piece of cardboard, but yeah. So book number one. And they come with a little bookmark that says Mothbox, which I love. And then there's a quote on the back. This one says, Naked and plain, the trees stretch branches like the antlers against the sky. Are you guys ready? I'm so ready. I've been waiting for this forever. You guys don't even understand. I was walking in snow that is taller than me every single day. Well, not through the snow, but like past snowbanks every single day in like 20 degree weather down to our mailbox to check the mail to see if these were there because it's just been like this obsession of mine as to when they were going to arrive. I do love this color. This is gorgeous. Okay. This is beautiful. This is Amy Epseth, Sufficient Grace. Ruth and her cousin, Naomi, Naomi. Ruth and her cousin, Naomi, live in a rural Wisconsin, part of an isolated religious community. Oh, hooray. The girls' lives are ruled by rhythms of natures and harsh winters and hunting seasons and harvesting crops and their family's beliefs. Beliefs the surface of the, are of the closed, frozen world. Hidden dangers lurk. I'm so excited. This I will probably be getting today. Not gonna lie. And then here is the second book. Here's this one. This quote is, they see a ball of flames moving towards them, an orange silk lantern floating in the air. I think that's all I'm allowed to sing of that song. It's stuck in my head. Masquerade from Phantom of the Opera, but I think that if I hum any more, I'll be in copyright infringement. As much as I want, I just, oh, now I can finally go back and watch everyone else's response to these because I have waited. I have not watched a single unboxing of Mothbox, and I was so proud of myself for that. Ooh, cover! What are you? The Handsworth Time by Sharon Dougal. It is 1981 and Handsworth is teetering on the brink of collapse, factories closing, and unemployment is high. The National Front are marching to the neglected inner cities of ablaze riots break out across Thatcher's fractured Britain. Ooh, nightmares, family music. Nope. Nightmares, 
but family, pop music, protest, unexpected friendships. This one looks good too. So I'm excited. All right. So that has been my moth box unboxing. Thank you so much to Mercedes. Again, I will always do this box. This is amazing. Mercedes is amazing. I really support her. I will link her video below talking about moth box. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.